I've been working as a professional graphic designer for a while now, and long gone are the days of meticulously cutting out people from backgrounds. Now with AI, Photoshop can do pretty much everything for you. Well, that's what I'm hearing. Apparently, now you don't even have to create things. You can just type in a prompt and Photoshop through AI is gonna spit it out for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play with the new 2024 Adobe Photoshop. We're gonna see just how good it really is. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right guys, I'm in the new 2024 Adobe Photoshop. And if you've seen anything about Adobe lately, it's all about AI. So I wanna go in here and I wanna see how well this is working, if it's something I can use for everyday work or it's just a gimmick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my browser. I'm, I have Pexels loaded up right now. This is one of my favorite free, royalty-free websites for imagery. There's a lot of good paid ones, but this one works just fine for that royalty-free stuff. I'm gonna search desert and landscape. I wanna do some type of like, retro space vibe deserty thing so i'm going to find an image that works good for that um i think this one will be good i'm going to download this and i'm going to go over to my downloads and i'm going to throw that into photoshop and we're going to start playing with the generative ai features so throw this in here i'm going to crop it just a touch so it fits my 1920 by 1080 canvas move it up just a tad i like where that's at i think this looks good zoom in everything's looking good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over here i'm going to create a new layer and I'm gonna grab my selection tool and we're just gonna start playing with this. So like I said, I wanna do some type of like space uh, alien invasion thing. So obviously we're gonna start over here with some type of like UFO. So I'm gonna come to the prompt. I'm gonna type uh, spaceship UFO. We'll just see what happens. I'm really not sure what it's gonna do, but I wanna see what it does. I'm gonna let this load. I'll probably fast forward these next time we do them but i want you to see in real time how much time this is going to take uh it seems like it takes a little bit of time but i mean it's to be expected it's going to give me three different variations so all right first time uh, first ones are okay let's see uh that one's actually kind of fun it's very simple but I, I do like it let's generate one more time and see what we get all right so it gave me three new options uh that one's actually pretty cool i like how the yellow is being used here because it kind of ties in the road yeah i think i like that so we'll leave that one for now i may come back and change it but uh for now that looks really cool so i'm gonna grab my selection tool i want to do like a car on the road but i want it to be like on fire all right so let's do uh retro car on fire let's see what it does all right, so it gave me a car, and it, it is retro like I asked for, uh, but it's not really on fire like I like. So maybe I'll do, let me just do retro car, and then I'll come back through and I'll do the on fire part. All right, so it gave me a couple other options. Oh, that one's actually really sick because it kind of ties in to my UFO. This one's cool too. Uh, that makes me, I feel like this is like a retro like police car. So what if I came over here and I did like, police lights so let's mark that off and we're gonna do uh, police lights police lights perfect okay so it gave me a couple options Ooh, that one that's not bad that one's cool i don't know what language that is but i mean yeah that looks that looks pretty sweet let's do i want to do one more go with that all right that's that's the one right there that's it that's perfect all right this is these ideas are just coming to me now like at first i didn't know what i want to do but now it's this is making a ton of sense so I'm gonna do a giant hole right here. Giant cr crater smoking. If I can type right. All right, let's see what that gives me. All right, so for whatever reason, crater doesn't seem to be working. Like I gotta get creative with my verbiage. Um, broken road, maybe? I want like a big hole right here. All right, maybe I'm thinking too hard. Let's just do hole. Let's see what that does. Okay, so these are definitely holes here. Um, I still don't like it though. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this a couple more times until I figure out one that I do like. All right, so these are much closer to what I was thinking. Uh, I think we can work with these. I think this one's good. I'm happy with that. So now I need. I feel like it needs to be like smoking a little bit. So let's do that explosion smoke. That's actually pretty good smoke. I mean, it, that looks convincing. 
The only thing is I wish it was like on top of the layer because right now it's like behind, but that I'm actually, I'm not super mad about that. So we're gonna run with that and let's get some lasers in here. Obviously we need some lasers coming from this, uh, from this UFO. I think that'd be sick laser. That's more like a rocket, not a laser. Hmm, maybe I'll try a laser beam. That's that's actually closer. Oh yeah, now we're now we're getting somewhere. Perfect. All right, let me generate it one more time. I actually like this one, but I want to see what I can do one more time. Oh, that one's good. Yeah, I like that one a lot. What's amazing me is how it goes like on top. You see how like this goes over the smoke layer. That's that just blows my mind. It really does. All right, let's see if we can get some more smoke right here. Like if it could do layers, let's do uh, white smoke. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh yeah, I like how that's like coming out of, that's so good. Uh, okay, that's super good. Let's keep going, I'm having a blast right now. All right, let's try person in safety gear. Okay, that's terrible. That one's not super bad. It's definitely not what I'm looking for though. I mean, can we take a second to look that is awful and terrifying. Okay, I'll, I'll give props for props too, but whoa, that is, uh, that is something. Let's delete this and let's just keep going. What I think this needs is I think it needs more UFOs. I think it needs definitely more UFOs. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna do UFO. I'm gonna do this like maybe four or five of them. I'm gonna add and I'll fast forward this section. All right, so the UFOs turned out super dope. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fast forward the next couple edits that I do so we don't have to stop and talk about every one of them. And then we'll come back and we'll discuss how this is looking and what I'm thinking. All right, guys, I got a couple more elements in here. And let me tell you, overall, I'm super impressed. I mean, what did I, I spent maybe like five to 10 minutes working on this. And I've got a full representation of a scene right here. Like if I was doing maybe like a movie storyboard or just getting some type of idea uh, onto something physical. I mean, this is fantastic. Obviously, it's an alien invasion. It's a little retro, it's in a desert. I mean, it fits all the descriptions that I wanted it to. I did it super quick. Now. Obviously, there's some weird things like this car is funky. What what the heck is going on with the lights? And some of this smoke is weird. So there's some inconsistencies. The level of details aren't super great, but for the purpose of getting something done um, and getting something physical from my head onto something physical like this screen, I mean, I'm absolutely blown away. Look look at the quality and just look at the the fact that it does layers like this. The smoke is behind this laser and the smoke is on top of this divot and this this car is not here i mean let me show you i'll duplicate this layer right here and i'll send it to the top this is what we had and this is what we have now i mean it's a totally different picture it's a scene it's it might as well be a still right out of a movie i'm blown away honestly i think this is so cool guys i hope you enjoyed today's video what are your thoughts about adobe incorporating a lot of this ai into their software let me know in the comments below if you like the video you already know what to do and until the next one guys peace